So here's everything that I got from Sprouts. This wine is so good, I had to get two of them. It's kind of like a mix between dry and sweet. Y'all know Riesling can be sweet, but this is drier. I got these cereal, um, this cereal right here. This is regular $9, but it was on sale for like six. I really wanna try it. I like kind. Bar, cereals, and oatmeal. These for my potatoes, these for salads. We are making um, like burrito bowls today, so I got this. This is really good. More caramel sauce for my apples. Black beans for the rice bowls today. I got some yogurt, both plain and vanilla. I hate vanilla yogurt, so I got plain for me because I'm planning on putting like fruit and stuff in it. That's not part of this. I got some fruit. I got peaches. Dang, I meant to get some mangoes. Peaches, dragon fruit, and the mixed berries are already starting to unthaw, but I want to make smoothies this week. I got some shrimp sushi. I don't know what this tastes like. Limes for the burrito bowls, some pears, green apples, cilantro, cotton candy grapes because I've never had them, salad, um, cashews, dark chocolate covered, peanut clusters, blueberries, sweet potatoes, lemons, avocados for tonight, tomatoes for tonight, some potatoes for some time this week. I got us some chicken, salmon, um, ground turkey breast, sandwich meat, and then this bacon, y'all. Y'all got a sprouts, baby. This thick cut smoked bacon. So freaking good. That's everything I got. Y'all wanna know how much this cost me? $150, absolutely ridiculous. I don't know what is going on. Well, I guess the pandemic is going on, but it's ridiculous. Maddie, do not make her fall. Um, but I did forget my zucchini. I forgot my squash because this week I'm trying to eat only vegetables this week because I'm just trying to cleanse my body. I've not been feeling well at all. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta switch some stuff up. I decided to turn y'all around. Um, y'all seeing the breakfast burrito that I made today had, I don't like mushrooms, but I was like, anytime I go on like my health kicks, I'd be like, I'm gonna try to eat mushroom, mushrooms, but they have such a distinctive taste to me. I can't do it, but I ate it anyways. But I'm trying to eat just only vegetables. I think my husband's making chicken burrito bowls, but I always eat my, even when we go to like Willie's or, um, what's the other place called y'all? Chipotle, any place like that, I always get a veggie bowl because I don't like their chicken. So I'm gonna make smoothies this week. I'm eating vegetables this week. I'm not cutting out carbs and all that kind of stuff, but I'm trying to drink more water. Maddie. But y'all, this cereal, I don't understand why kind can't cut their cost in half. I hope it's good. I like eat cereal. I don't like cooking a full breakfast every single morning, so I'm trying to think of like quick and easy things for me to make. I mean, it don't take long to make eggs, but sometimes you just don't feel like cooking. So I got this. I love their um, oatmeal. It's really good. My husband doesn't like it that well, um, but it's always so expensive. I don't, I just don't understand why. Anyways, I'm about to put these groceries up. Um, and then I have something to show y'all. I need to show y'all the lamp that I got to go in the loft area.
Okay, y'all, so this is the lamp that I got from Target. It's actually not the original one that I was gonna get. I accidentally bought this when I thought this was the one that me and my husband seen on display at one location. I had picked this one up from another one. But I got this to go on the loft. Um, it's like a bronze color, a dark bronze color. You can't really tell on the picture. But to me, it gives off black both on the box and in person. And then this is a tan color, so I feel like it would go really good in the loft. So I'm gonna unbox it and put it up there and I'll show y'all what it looks like. Okay, hopefully y'all can see me. The lighting up here sucks. I think this is gonna be the first light fixture that we get in the house. Um, And our loft is dirty per usual, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. I just better drive my bike, y'all. I need to do that more often. Child, it's an assembly instruction. Oh, it hurts me. All right, y'all didn't get to see me unbox it because my battery died, but good thing because that was actually very embarrassing. All right, so this is the um, lamp shade. Decent. I hope this works out because the way that this junk package. <laughs> and cozy oh my gosh I absolutely love this one so I'm not gonna take it back and get the other one here it is from this angle it's so nice but this um you just turn this knob and it turns on and off it's actually supposed to be a dimmer but y'all see how it's flashing it's not a dimming light in here so it's not gonna work properly but I don't necessarily need to be dim it's very vibey as y'all can see, just sit over there. And now the light up here absolutely sucks. Like you would think that this was the only light that was on. Anyways, y'all, I really like it. So I'll link it down below per usual. <laughs> fall candle but I just want to smell good in here while I call myself working and y'all I've been eating my vegetables I haven't been, I had eaten any meat okay I had a small piece of fish yesterday literally like this big I stuck it in my salad but I made a smoothie this morning for lunch I had a salad some crackers on the side so I'll get full but and then for my snack I had dark chocolate dark chocolate covered peanut cluster. So whenever I go in my home kids, my kids get really excited because they like smoothies, they like to work out. I haven't been working out, I'm working on it. Our treadmill should be here sometime this week, so maybe I'll get up and work out. But, um, anyways, we're in the guest bedroom. As y'all can obviously tell, all of this 
stuff decor we're about to move out of here um i'm gonna move the nightstands out i'm gonna turn the bed this way just to see what it looks like and then i'm gonna move this desk that y'all can't see right now my husband works in here see that's the problem my husband uses this bed i mean not this bed this room as his office because y'all know his office is supposed to be in the basement and the basement is not done mm -hmm. so um I still need to have a place for him to work until I buy another desk. But I really want to rearrange the room first before I start purchasing anything for this room. Um, so let's just clear everything out. See what we're working with. Again, I like to start with my blank canvas, get everything out, and then I can kind of, you know, work. The good thing about it is I already know I want to do black and cream in here. I want it to be very light and airy and peaceful in here and y'all already know i got a whole bunch of black and cream and white decor from the master bedroom that i'll start bringing down once we get everything together the other thing that i haven't told y'all <laughs> y'all here it is one thing about me i'm gonna change my mind i don't feel bad about it okay i will change my mind until i get things the way that i want them or until i get what i want i know how i am i can be very indecisive about things i get bored easily when it comes to my decor my hair I might have said that in a video before. I don't know. But yeah, I'm, I give myself the freedom and flexibility to change my mind. And I don't feel guilty about it. Because like I just need to love it. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all. I need to love every single part of my home. I need to feel at peace in every single part of my home. And that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to create peace. So that means... I buy something and I keep it and I be like, mm, I don't really like you like that. And then I get rid of them by something else. This is what it is. It's what it's going to be. Let's get it. My point in telling y'all that was to basically tell y'all that I think I'm going to get rid of all the furniture in my master bedroom. Okay, bye. <laughs> You over here doing stuff, you ain't got no business. Lord have mercy, Jesus. All right, y'all. So, I don't know if I like it. I feel like it makes the room look, I don't know, hold on. Let me just, let me just show y'all what it looks like when you walk in real quick. Forgive me for breathing my extra hard close to this camera like this, Lord have mercy. So, all right, so this is the little hallway when you first walk in, <laughs> being stiped. Wipes are on the floor. So, closet right here, and then when you come in, if you look to the right, you have the desk. And then over here, we have more room. So my thought was to put a small desk right here, very small, just something to be able to, you know, do some light work at. And then I could actually still put a nightstand, um, a small nightstand over here, and then still have room for a seating area over here versus the other way around. The bed pretty much took up all of this space. I wish y'all were here so y'all could tell me. I don't know how I feel about walking in and getting hit directly with the bed. You know what I'm saying? Like, is that what we want to see from the hallway when the door is open? And I think I'm gonna need my husband for this. Not to mention, BRB. All right, y'all. It's cleared out. It is vacuumed. We have a clean slip. All the crap is right there in the hallway, but focus. So I think the last time I was talking to y'all was full and I was like, hold on, I'll be right back. Cause I want to go ask my husband 
what he thought. Y'all see, it works. Beanie, really? <laughs> Anyways, so he agreed that we could get rid of that bed. So we took that down, it's in the basement. We're gonna do something with it. And our room, we're gonna bring that bed down here. And we're gonna get new furniture for the master bedroom. Woo, I'm gonna start hand claps. But anyways, so I'm about to run to Home Goods to see if I can find a small desk to go over here. If I can't, um, there's one that I seen on Target that I like. Something real small and cute just to sit over here, nothing major. Um, and then we're gonna bring down, like I said, the bed to go in here, the mattress, and then the two chairs that are in our room. No desk. I think I showed y'all the desk. I don't know, y'all. I got sidetracked. Sorry, y'all. So, before I order the one from Target, um, I'm gonna, you know, shop around a little bit and then order it. If I order the one from Target, it'll be here on Monday. Um, obviously, we're not gonna... The, the, the guest bedroom ain't finna be finished in this vlog anyways. We're just getting started. So, if anything, we'll have... I don't even know if we'll move the bed tonight, y'all, because... It's already six o'clock. morning y'all so i just wanted to show y'all what my house looked like <laughs> here's all the stuff from the guest bedroom my sister's actually taking this husband socks crap that needs to go upstairs these are also going with my sister we're supposed to take these upstairs um to our room for us to sleep on until we get us another bed and then here's the rest of the decor that my sister is going to take ring light that i don't use and then in here in the dining room y'all is my husband's little office and then all the new stuff i've been collecting but this is his office for right now since i kicked him out of the guest bedroom <laughs> but i wanted to show y'all when i went to target yesterday i was supposed to be going to look for a desk but i found this little stand thing it was sitting over there in the area i was like oh my gosh it's so cute so i decided to put my little baking cookbook over here I don't think I'm actually going to leave this right here. I got it because, um, I don't know. I think I told y'all I want to start making recipes out of this book because um, I like baking. And I showed y'all this a while back. But whenever I use it, I want to be able to, like, I don't know what this is. But just pretend like this is what I want to bake right now. I can just sit it up there like that and follow the instructions and stuff. I thought it was just so cute. I don't, I don't like a lot of stuff out on my counters because I don't like clutter. Not saying that, you know, that's clutter look for everybody, but I like open space. But if I step back, why is it not focusing? Okay, this is what it would look like if I was to leave it over there like that. It doesn't look bad and it goes with the wood tone, so I may do it. I may not, we'll see. But hey, that book used to sit right here with these. So now it would just look like that without that book, which is not bad. It's a thin book, but I just like to showcase the girl, you know, she's just giving black girl magic. So anyways, really quickly before I go work for today, um, the guest bedroom still empty. <laughs> it's still empty because um, we just never got around to putting 
<clears throat> that bed down there but then when i woke up this morning i'm honestly trying to figure out if i want to go ahead and move the bed down there um i don't know i don't know i don't know i don't know if y'all gonna see any more updates related to the guest bedroom as part of this vlog um yeah if we do anything to the guest bedroom i'll include it as part of this vlog but if not i'll come back and close the vlog out okay y'all so i'm about to show y'all the updates to the master to the guest bedroom really quick i don't know why i'm pointing down at the floor it's not like it's a grand reveal hell it's not even finished but this is what it looks like so no bed and that's because me and my husband talked this morning and we decided that it was cheaper to just buy a new frame for in here keep the same full size mattress and then buy a new frame for our master bedroom and keep the same mattress and box spring as opposed to having to buy a whole new bed and mattresses and stuff for our room so anyways we decided to put one nightstand in here the other one is going to go in the basement until we figure out what we're going to do with it put our dresser in here we decided for this wall because when we put it up against this one although it fit perfectly it left just a little bit of space for you to walk by and i don't like the feeling of being cluttered um so that's what we decided there then over here we decided right now we're just going to do a desk that sits over there because like i told y'all my husband needs somewhere to work maybe on down the line we'll decide to put the two chairs in here to have like a seating area but that's what it is right now so i'm about to set y'all up and um start putting up this decoration i'm gonna make the bed because i just want us to look put the, together until we do get the frame and I'm going to order or see if I can find something that I like tonight. The other thing really quickly is we are not going to use this mirror as much as I wanted to use this mirror. As much as y'all told me I needed to use this mirror. I decided against it because honestly with this, this dresser stuff gives me like farmhouse vibes. So that with this is very much antique-ish. Very much I'm at my grandma's house and I don't like it. My husband was like no. So... <laughs> We're gonna use the circle mirror over there. So I'm gonna set y'all up. put like the toiletries and stuff in there yeah that's all i use that for and then this i'll put right here this is how i had it in our room so i think i'm just gonna leave it like that i ain't even trying to we ain't even finished trying to reinvent the wheel on this and um i have a picture of me and jay it's, do y'all think this comment down below do y'all think it's weird for you to have pictures of your family in the guest bedroom like it's my house. It's my, it's my, I don't know. But yeah, it's my house, right? <laughs> Let me know y'all, cause I have a picture that I can put right here. Um, and then one second. Okay y'all, so remember the vase. I never took it back. So I think we're gonna use this under here. I think that's so cute. Yeah, let's do it. And then over here, I'm gonna go get the lamp, charge my battery, and then that is not cute. We putting that over there. Okay, let me go charge my battery. Okay, y'all. So I basically just did the rest of the decorations off camera because I was just on the go, and it was very easy because, like I said, all of this came from the room downstairs. But your girl made the bed like it had a frame. <laughs> I just wanted to see it all come together. So, um. I think I am gonna go with a black bed in here just because I feel like it will tie everything together. The plant from our room, I stuck over there. Again, I'm gonna put a desk over here. Y'all, I done had this lamp for I don't know how long from Home Goods. Still got the tag on it. 
and I was planning on using it in here, but this is way more modern than this room. So I might try using it as um, a lamp on the desk that I put over here. I don't know yet. Cause I also have this lamp that I'm definitely using in here. Um, and then I, these were on the bottom shelf in the guest bed, in the master bedroom. So I decided to use that there. I think this basket on this bed looks so cute. You know, it's like welcoming, like welcome to my home. Enjoy your one day stay. Maximum is one day stay, I'm just playing. So here's what the mirror looks like over here. My husband was like, you need a bigger mirror. I was like, listen, I'm not buying no more damn mirrors. I had this mirror for like three months already. Took it out the box, this is what it is. We are planning on hanging this on the wall. So comment down below and let me know what y'all think I need to get to go on either side of the mirror because and I ain't asking y'all if I need a bigger mirror because I'm not getting a bigger one. I'm asking y'all what I should do to go on either side. So my husband had mentioned that we should get something, a plant or something, pompous something to go over here in this area. Um, Cause I already have like that granite coming out of there but I could always remove it. So that's kind of gonna take up that space right there. I don't want it, I mean this is, it's not super small, but it ain't huge either. So I don't want it to, you know, be overcrowded with crap in here. You know what I'm saying? I like that it's simple. And not only that, if I put that mirror, a small mirror over there, I could potentially do something cute and small above the bed, as opposed to, you know, doing all of that. Also comment down below and let me know if you think I should do curtains in here. Remember, I'm putting a desk over there. Anyways, this mirror is going back. I slick want to see what it looked like over there on the west name now that I got the decor in here. So y'all just please hold on that. It may go back, it may not. And then let me show y'all really quickly the stuff that I got for the bathroom. That'll be the next thing we do. Um, so we got a toilet paper holder because I don't like the ones that I got from Amazon that are currently in every single bathroom. So I am um, trying to get rid of them one by one. So this is what I'm gonna use in that bathroom so it can store the tissue. Cause that bathroom is kind of small. It's a tight squeeze with the toilet and shower and stuff. Then for, hold on y'all. Hopefully y'all can see me. Then for the soap dispenser and stuff. That's a here. This is um, Hotel Balfour, I don't know. So I got this, it's really heavy. Actually I like this, this is $12.99. Ooh, don't break it, hold on. And then I got this to, this is the Tahiri brand I think, yeah, Tahari. Um, I got this to put like cotton balls and stuff in. And look at this tray, y'all, no, no lie, it's super heavy, but this is actually real marble. That's what it says right there. And it was only $16.99, they had a white marble one too, but I can't think of anything I could do with it, but I thought this would be cute to go in the bathroom on the counter like that. Super cute. That brings a little bit of that gold. So that's that gold right there will tie out. This will also be cute on the desk. We'll see. Um, is that everything I got? Oh yeah, and then the black basket. And then I still have these, which I'll probably end up putting in the bathroom. They're kind of like a wooden thing. They're three candles. So I put them in there, but I'm not doing the bathroom tonight. Um, but I'm super in love with the guest bedroom. Oh my gosh, like it turned out better than I even envisioned it. And I don't think I'm putting a seating area in there because I feel like that would take up more room. I just need to get the desk and then a chair to go with the desk. And then we're pretty much done in here, but it does feel a lot more cozy, but obviously I'll update y'all whenever we get to bed. And then, like I said, on Sunday's vlog, we'll go ahead and do the bathroom. So that's it, I think. Yeah. But anyways, thank y'all so much for tuning in today's video for y'all support. Make sure y'all follow me over on Instagram at JennyJax1908 and I'll see y'all in the next video.